Okay mga kawawmat, in this video, we will discuss how to convert percent to fraction and decimal form. So, this is the vice versa naman. So, dun sa mga previous tutorial natin, converting fraction to decimal to percent and then decimal to fraction and percent. Now, this time, ang given po natin ay percent to fraction and decimal form. So, yun po ang ating magiging objectives. We will express percent form to fraction and decimal form. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like our video and subscribe na rin po kayo. Thank you! So, let's start. How do we convert percent form to fraction and decimal form? So, given this uh, percentage, I have here 15%. So, meron tayong dalawang klase, no? Kapag yung given po na percent natin ay whole number. Saan ba? 15, yan, 20, 80, 90... Yun po yung mga whole number, madali po mag-convert pa ganun. Pero what if ang given na percent ay 12.5? Yung meron naman siyang mga butal, 18.7. So, paano natin i-convert yun into fraction and decimal? So, eto po sa ating slide na to, i-discuss muna natin kapag whole number. So, eto walang kaso, madali lang po ito. So, kapag mag-convert po tayo, always remember that a percentage is always... Uh, 100. Okay? So, ang gagawin po natin, you just have to copy percentage. That is 15. Yun po yung ating numerator. So, copy lang po natin yung percentage na given. So, that is 15. Yun po ang ilalagay natin sa ating numerator. And then, that is always 100. Kasi, a percentage is always uh, 100%. So, 15 over 100. And then, in lowest term lang po natin, so, we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 5. So, that is 3 over 20. And then, paano natin siya convert sa decimal? Kung napanood nyo yung pag-convert ng decimal to fraction and percent, madali na po ito. Diba kapag nag-convert tayo ng decimal to percent, minumove lang po natin yung ating... Uh, let's say, ito po yung given natin, 15. Minumove lang po natin siya sa right dalawa, ng dalawang beses. But this time, since since decimal to percent na po tayo, pa-left naman po ang move natin. Okay? So, kapag uh, decimal to percent, pa-right po ang move natin. Okay? Dalawang beses. Pero pag percent to decimal, pa-left naman po. Okay, so dalawang move po tayo. So, given po natin yung 15, so move natin to twice sa left, 1, 2. So, yung decimal point po natin dito po yan, mag -e end So, that is 0 0.15. So, tatandaan na kapag nandito po sa unahan, nilalagay po natin yung point. So, kapag ganito yung given ninyo, automatic yung yan nandito dito. Pero, pag po kasi, hindi na po natin yan nilalagay. Let's have another. I have 30%. So, madali lang siya i-convert in 30 over 100. And then, lowest term lang natin. We can divide both the numerator and denominator by 10. So, that is 3 over 10. And i-lowest term po natin. Now, again, copy 30 and then mag-move po tayo pa left. So, ganun po palagi ha. Pag percent to decimal, pa left po. Pag decimal to percent, pa right naman. Okay? So, we have... 1, 2. So, mapilipan na yun dito ang decimal point mo, kaya maging 0.30. Next. So, ganun ulit. 55 over 100, get the lowest term. That is 11 over 20. So, we have 55, dipat natin, move, I mean, that is 0.55. Next, 75. So, 75 over 100. Lowest term is 3 fourths. We have 75, move, Move natin. So, we have 0 0.75. And last, what if you have 150%? So, that is 150 over 100. Get the lowest term. That is 3 over 2 or 3 halves or 1 and 1 half. Okay. So, we have 150. Move to places to the left. So, that is 1.5. So, no need to write 1.50. Although, they are equal. Pero, um... Kapag zero naman na yung dulo, uh, kahit hindi na po natin siya ilagay. So, because 1.5 is equal to 1.5. Next. So, what if you have this, like 2.5? So, hindi na siya whole, no? Kung 2 lang yan, madali. 2 over 100. Ito, 2.5. So, mas madali siya na i-convert muna natin siya into decimal. So, that is 2.5. Move mo siya. So, we have... 
zero. So, kapag meron tayong vac vacante dyan, that it, lalagyan po natin yung ng zero. And then, yung decimal point natin, madilipat na dito. So, we have 0 0.025. Lagi po tayo maglalagay ng zero sa unahan kapag yung decimal point natin ay napunta dun sa unahan. Okay? So, 0 0.025 Pag convert natin siya into fraction, copy mo yung 25. And then, 1 steps, 100,000. Kaya, over 1,000. So, pwede mo siya i-lowest term pa. That is 1 over 40. Next, 12.3. So, ganun ulit. Copy mo si 12.3. Move na pala. So, malilipat dito. That is 0 0.123. So, ganun ulit. Copy natin 1, 2, 3. And then, 1 steps, 1,000. Kaya, over 1,000. Pwede pa ba natin i-lowest term to? Hindi na po. Okay, next. 16.5%. So, we have, copy 16.5, move two decimal places to the left. So, 1, 2, move natin. So, that is 0 0.165. And then, copy 165. 1 stands 100,000. That's why it's 165 over 1,000. Pwede pa po natin ito i-lowest term. That is 33 over 200. So, pwede po natin siya i-divide by 5. Next, 14.75. So, this is move 1, 2. So, magiging 0 0.1475. And then, copy natin si 75 sa numerator. And then, 1, 10, 1,000, 10,000. So, 1475 over 10,000. And, pwede pa natin to i-lowest term. That is 9 over 400. Next. 114 point percent. So, copy. Move two decimal places to the left. So, napunta na dito yung ating decimal point. So, that is 1.1434. And then, copy po natin ito yung buo. We have 1.1434. So, uh, yun po ang ilalagay natin sa numerator. And then, once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. So, kaya po ito ay ten thousand. And then, you can still get its lowest term. That is... 5,717 over 5,000. So, this is how we convert percent to fraction and decimal form. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like. Subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.